Um, today, uh, we'll do a particle size distribution test, uh, also known as sieve analysis. If we look at soil that we collect during site investigation, uh, you will notice that it has uh, a different particles on it. It can have very large particles like gravel, and it also have uh, sand, and sometimes it also have fine particles. So what we would like to do is to know how much gravel, how much sand and fines we have in each soil. And after that, we can classify the soil. To do that, we need to uh, separate them into sizes. And the test that uh, we'll do today actually will help us um, uh, achieving this goal. Uh, to conduct this test, we need a set of sieves. And we start with very large sieves. Uh, you can see large openings. And then uh, we have very fine sieve, like this one, that has very fine um, openings. Uh, the first uh, step of this procedure is um, we're going to measure the mass of each sieve. Then we'll put them all together. And then we pour soil in the stack of sieves. And then we'll shake it for about 10, 15 minutes. And after that, uh, we'll look uh, how much soil is retained in each of the sieves. So first, we will measure the mass, and we'll start with the pan. So it has no sieves. Uh, this pan is to collect finer particles of the soil. Um, uh, I'll put it on the scale. And um, I'm going to write down the mass, which is 241.32. Yeah. So next sieve is uh, 1.18 millimeters. It's 5046.1. Mm -hmm. Next one is 2.36 millimeters. The mass of it is 540 and 51 grams. Uh, 475. 568.14 Next one is 13.2 And the final one, the top, uh, the largest one, 19, uh, will give us 715.33 grams. OK, so um, we put them all together. Uh, make sure that uh, the largest sieve was on the top, the finest sieve was at the bottom. Uh, now we will um, get some soil sample. Uh, we have lots of particles in it, so we need to uh, randomly select uh, soil for this test. And this is what we'll do next uh, by uh, using soil divider. This is a subsample that uh, we will use for the test. Uh, we'll measure the mass of it. Uh, it should be about 250 grams. We'll make sure that uh, all fines will go in the soil, back in the soil. Um, it will make 234 grams. of the sample. So next step is we pour the sample in the sieves. We'll do it nice and gently. Make sure all the fines will go back in the soil where they belong. Uh, we're going to cover it with the lid, and then we're going to put it in the shaker for 10 minutes.
Well, the test finished. Now uh, we can measure the mass of each sieve. We'll start with the top one. There is nothing in it. The second from the top, also empty. We have a little bit of rocks uh, in the third sieve. Uh, we shouldn't shake it. Uh, we should be very careful so that uh, fine particles uh, will not fall through the sieve. Gently place it on the surface uh, of the scale. We have a, a little bit more rocks in the next sieve. The next sieve will give us 593 grams. This is the pan, the final sieve. Uh, these are the final particles uh, from the soil. That's it for the physical part of the test. Now we need to look at the data and do some simple uh, analysis uh, calculations. Uh, we'll look at the uh, amount of soil in each sieve. And then uh, using this data, uh, we can draw a grain size distribution curve. Now let's do analysis of the data. And we'll fill in the table. We'll start with column four. Uh, column four is mass of soil retained. Uh, what we will do is we'll take a number from column 3 and we'll subtract uh, uh, the number from column 2. That will uh, give us the difference. For the first uh, top sieves, we didn't have any soil in it, so the difference is 0. Then for the sieve 9.5, the difference uh, was 9.05. Then we'll do 86. 0.69 for the next sieve uh, 52.67 47 and 5 and for the pen the difference uh, was 38.25 so if we sum it up we're going to get uh, the total mass of the soil and it's 234 0.13, which is very close to the soil, uh, to the mass of soil that we started with. The difference is only 0.07 grams, which is uh, allowed by the standard. So we're uh, fine. Uh, now we're going to move to column five, and we'll estimate the cumulative soil mass retained. In this case, uh, for the first uh, top sieves, we didn't have any soil, so it's going to be zero. Uh, for the next sieve, 9.5, uh, uh, we had 9.5. And then what we're going to do now, we will take a number from column 4 and we'll add number uh, from column 5 on top. And that will give us 95.71. So this plus this. Then we're going to do for the rest of the sieves. 148.38. Uh, for the next sieve, it will be 195.88. And um, for the final one, 234.13. So you see that these numbers match, which means that our calculations are correct. Um, next column is uh, cumulative percent uh, retained. 
Uh, to get this one, uh, we're going to take a number from column 5 and divide it by the mass, the total mass of the soil, and change it to percentage. For the first two sieves, we didn't have anything, so we'll go with 0. Then we'll take uh, this number from column 5 and divide it by the total mass, which is 234.13. It will give us approximately 3.9%. Then we'll do the same thing for the other sieves, about 37.0%, 22.5, 20.3, and 16.3. And the final column, the most important, the one that uh, we will use to draw a grain size distribution curve, it's column 7, percent passing. Uh, in this case, we will take 100% and we'll uh, subtract number uh, from column 6. For the first uh, two sieves on top, we'll see that percentage, cumulative percentage was 0, so which means that 100 minus 0 will give us 100%. For the next uh, sieve, 9.5, um, we're going to get 100 minus 3.9, which is 96.1. We'll do the same procedure for the other sieves. Um, give us 59.1 approximately, 36.6, 16.3. Okay. So this is a percentage. Um, I rounded some of these numbers. And our next step, uh, we will draw a curve. So um, we draw it on uh, this plot, where we have particle size in millimeters versus percentage passing. Particle size we'll get uh, from the sieve openings in millimeters. And uh, we will start with the lowest one, uh, which is 1.18. Uh, what I will do is I will take this number, 1.18 as particle size in millimeters, and I will take this number from column 7 as percent passing, and I will plot it on the graph. So for 1.18, which is approximately here, we have number 16.3, which is about here. Uh, next one is 2.36 millimeters, it's uh, there, and then the number is 36.6, somewhere around here. Um, next one, 4.75, it's around here, 4.75. And 4.75 correlates with 59.1 percent. The point is here. Um, for next one, 9.5. Is that exactly where you are? Sorry, I can see that piece of paper. That's probably okay. Ah, uh, that should be fine. Okay. That's, that's fine. Yeah. For the size of 9.5, uh, we have 96.1%. About here. Uh, sorry, my mistake. 96.1, um, it's about here. And next sieve size is 13.2, we have hundreds. So these are the points, we can connect them so that we'll have grain size distribution curve. Uh, what you can do is uh, you can draw it by hand manually or you can use any software like uh, Microsoft Excel. Uh, you can put uh, all your data in the Microsoft Excel spreadsheets and then just draw a curve uh, using one of their functions. That's it.
thank you.